Most students struggle with this concept. So let's say we have this function and we want to find f of 3. We could take the x and replace it with 3 and then just crunch these numbers to get a result. But now let's try finding the limit. I'll choose a number that's slightly less than 3 and plug it in. I'll also choose a slightly greater number and plug it in. And I'm going to keep doing this until I notice a general trend, but notice how this gave us the same result. So what is even the point of learning about limits? Well, the reason this is important is limits can do what plugging in numbers cannot. So let's say we had a function with a hole in it. Plugging in 3 would give us no solution. But what if we instead set up a limit? Well, in this case, we would only approach 3, so this would give us a legitimate answer. Limits can also deal with infinity. Infinity is not a real number we can plug in. However, we can set a limit as x approaches infinity, since this just means our x values are getting bigger and bigger without ever reaching infinity. 